Namaste. Uh, tonight or today, I'll be demonstrating loosening exercises 7 to 12, which I've already covered uh, separately. But I just thought I'll club it so that all of you can practice along uh, with the video. And you can gradually increase the rounds. So first, loosening exercise number 7. As you inhale, at the center, looking over your uh, shoulder, you exhale, inhale back, exhale, looking over the other shoulder. Exhale as you stretch, inhale back, exhale, inhale back. Exhale, inhale back, exhale, inhale back. So you can do this seated on the chair and even on the floor, but because there are some other standing exercises. You can place your hands on the hips if that helps you keep balance. If you have dizziness or vertigo, it would be advisable to do the neck exercises seated on a chair so that you don't feel dizzy or lightheaded. Now, I'll do a simple neck rotation back about three rounds. So you can coordinate your breath as you move half circle, you inhale and the other half, you exhale. Now, the opposite direction, you inhale half circle and you exhale the other half. And remember to keep your feet shoulder distance apart. So this was the neck, the first neck exercise I had not demonstrated earlier. Then loosening exercise number eight is just some simple wrist rotation. So make your hands uh, parallel to the ground and you can do about 10 rounds. You can even do about 20 rounds and you can do this uh, if you're working throughout the day on the gadgets, at least about 10 into 10. You can do this about 100 times in a day. It gives a lot of release. So this was loosening exercise number eight. The next one is very nice for the neck and the shoulder. So I clasp my hand and diagonally stretch. Remember not to crunch your neck so keep your body straight, opening your heart center and just take a few deep breaths, about three breaths and you can focus on your upper back and the neck. Release, continue to keep clasp and let's do the other direction. Remember to keep your spine straight, relax and just focus as you take some deep breaths on the upper back, the neck, shoulders. You're also working on the wrist joints your elbows. It's okay if you're here because if you're not flexible enough. And then just move on because it worked a lot on this. So that was loosening exercise number nine. This one is loosening exercise number 10. Very good for the neck, upper back, shoulder, wrist, elbows. Inhale, I expand my chest. Exhale, come back to center. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. You can do about five rounds and demonstrating only three rounds. Now, this is nice leg movements. So front and back, front and back, front and back. So you can do about five rounds, one leg and now the other leg. You can always have a chair or you can always take the support of the wall if you feel balancing is a problem. So this was forward leg movement. And uh, the last one is sideward leg movement. You can bring your hands here and move sideward. Very good for the hips. So when I'm losing balance, so you can always take support of the wall. Again, about five rounds. And then alternate left to right left to right, left to right. Heart rate would have gone up. It's nice loosening exercises. So I've completed seven to 12. And always after that, get into Tadasana, standing, resting mountain pose. If you have a balancing issue, as you can see, my breathing rate has very fast. My breath rate is very fast, rapid. You can keep your eyes half open if you're unable to balance with a soft case 
at a point in front of you. About a minute, do relax. Thank you. Namaste.